Hello everyone, it's Kelsey here. Welcome and welcome back to my channel, Budget Better Life, where I budget, cash stuff, and save for a less stressful, more enjoyable life. If that sounds great and you can relate, then keep watching. Okay guys, so I have like all my binders here um, just on the table because in this video, I'm just gonna be messing around with my binders and kind of organizing things that sounds like something you want to watch then definitely continue watching but yeah like in all my videos I'm pretty much just winging it so um, I was gonna do this off camera but I figured I would bring you guys along if you're interested and you want to see my binders what's in them and how I'm moving things around so let's get started um, I'm gonna set these up here and I'm gonna start with this A5 size that I just got. So this binder I'm thinking is gonna be for some of my like savings challenge games and some of the games that I play towards debt. So I've already popped all the little things out because it drives me nuts, those little, those little circles that you have to pop out. So I did that so that you guys didn't have to watch that my goodness and i have no idea what i'm going to talk about or what i'm going to do like i said i'm just winging this the traffic is really loud today sorry guys um i printed off these dashboards so these are the games that don't currently have a home or a folder so i printed these off and i thought that i could put them in here this is so big like I'm used to work this is my first day five so I don't even know if this is on screen I don't know how this is gonna work but I figured why not try a five size so my paradise island which is from Tracy monster nice I got my Bunko against time. And these are the ones that I'm using to pay down debt right now. I don't know if I'm going to change that up or not. I don't, I mean, I haven't really, I haven't really decided. Okay, and then Knockout, which is from Budgets and Chaos. She is great. Love her channel. If you guys haven't checked her out, definitely check out Mari over at Budgets and Chaos. She's a lot of fun. Um, and then the rest are mine. So I got my $1,000 savings. And this one is a freebie download that's linked in my description below. And these other savings challenge games are on my Etsy store, which is always linked in the description of every one of my videos. So go ahead and check that out if you guys are curious. I've got my super savings board game, which is this actually. Maybe I should pull these out as I do it. So I had stuck them in here because they're all A6 size. And so I was like, let's put them in here. I got this little A6 binder, but now I wanna put them with the other ones because sometimes these will collect a lot of money. And if there's a lot of money, I don't know if they're gonna fit in an A6 size. So this is Super Savings Board Game, if you guys are curious. Comes with instructions, really fun game. A couple different ways to play. And I'll put it right in there. Perfect, see, we're getting it done. All right, so then I've got my Season Scratch and Save. Season Scratch and Saves. These are cute, I like, I was just kind of creating them. I wanted something that was like the colors, like each one's a little bit different. It's got like pinks, purples, and blues. And I thought it would be good with this binder because it's like holographic and you can like see all those colors in this binder. So I thought that was a good one. So let me grab the season scratch and saves. Yes, perfect. So these are the season scratch and saves. Got one for summer. Winter, spring, fall. I should probably finish up spring because, my goodness, we're about to be right into summer, aren't we? So we'll put those down in there. And then I've got my monthly savings. Perfect. 
And let's grab those monthly savings. And since I have all 12 of them in an A6 folder, it's gonna be nicer to have them in this A5, I think. So got January and February already completed. Working on March, <laughs> but I've got one for every month of the year and they're so beautiful and colorful. I love them. All right, so dropping those down in for the monthly savings, perfect. Oh, and then you guys are getting a little sneak peek at a new game that I haven't uh, shown you guys yet. I'm working on creating this 100 times savings. So that will be in the back. Once I have that all ready to show you, I will show you. So that's gonna be my A5. What do you think? I have all my little games in there. I made pretty dashboards, put the names of who made them. I love it. I think this is gonna be great. It's a little bit bigger than what I'm used to, but I think it's gonna work out good. So this one is all set. We're done with that. Let's set that aside. And then this doesn't have anything in it. This is just an empty binder. I don't even know if I need it or if I'll use it, but got it. So set that aside. Also, I tried to paint my nails right before filming this and I've clearly messed them up already. That's why I'm so excited to do gel polish to like cure it so they don't mess them up as soon as I paint them. Yeah, that's the, those are gonna have to go. All right, so this binder, I don't think I'm changing anything in this binder. This is just my straight savings challenges. I've got different um, people in here. Oh, save Opley. See, maybe I could put the other one, the super savings in with that, but I'll just keep this how it is for now. I think I'm fine with that. It's cute. All right, I'm gonna set this one aside because I don't need to make any changes. This is my bills binder, and I definitely don't need to make any changes in here. Um, the only thing I was thinking is maybe having like this savings envelope be somewhere else because I collect the money in here and then I pull it out to play the savings challenge games, but it's fine because when I stuff the bills, that's the place. I, I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. All right. Don't overthink it, Kels. Just keep going. All right. So that one's fine. I'm not touching that one. So the biggest changes I think is going to be in this sinking funds and this long-term savings binder. This is just my little personal wallet. And the only thing that I'm going to do is move the money around and pull the car maintenance. But once I have the place for the car maintenance, so let's put this up there for now. So this is where change is happening. Okay, let's see. I'm going to set that aside. In this binder, I have my emergency fund. That's definitely long-term. So I want this binder to be long-term and this one to be short-term. So emergency fund, long-term. Great, leave it. Oh, these aren't zipped. I'm going to zip them. Home, definitely long-term. That one's zipped, leaving it. Vacation. Okay, vacation can be... Vacation can be long-term because I have travel, which is short-term. So this would be like a longer vacation, and that one would be like if we just go somewhere, you know, within driving distance. Okay, so shopping, I don't know. <laughs> I guess it's long-term. All right, I'm leaving it. Car maintenance. Car maintenance seems long-term, but let's be honest. I have stuff coming up throughout the year that like I need this money for. So I have uh, 25, 50, I think I have $100 in here. Let's see. If I have $100 in here, I can get my oil change already. I don't know what I'm waiting for. Oh, that's what I should do. All right, well, I'm not gonna do anything with the money right now. Okay, obviously this is prop money and the real money is at the bank. So I am going to put this folder over here because I think that's going to be short term. Luxury challenge is definitely long term. This challenge is for um, me to get a new wedding band, which I'm not even wearing my wedding ring right now um, because my wedding band is tight. It doesn't really fit good. And also I wear my engagement ring mostly without the band because the two together are really like bulky. So this is for me to get a another band that's slimmer thinner I can wear all the time I'm not worried about diamonds falling out 
I don't know. That seems kind of ridiculous, but that's what it is. That's what I want. And I mean, we've almost been together for 10 years. So maybe by next year when we're together for 10 years, I'm going to get another band. So, oh, let me close this. I don't lose anything. That's definitely long term. Birthday is not so long term because my son's birthday is in August. So I need to like bulk this up. I need to get focused on this. And then the next one is Christmas and gifts. I feel like, I feel like Christmas and gifts, I guess they're the same. We could do like birthdays or like holidays and special occasions throughout the year. And then Christmas is just straight Christmas. All right. So th if this is just straight Christmas, it's going to stay. All right. So this is straight Christmas. So it's going to stay. Um, and then let's close this up because this is all long term. I feel good about that. So that's great. So then let's set this one aside because this one's all done. So I grabbed a couple extra sleeves because I think there's going to be more categories that I want in here. All right. So this is going to be sinking funds slash short term savings coffee i have an envelope in here okay that's where i go and i spend my coffee out throughout the week at starbucks but this envelope i need to also be collecting money for when we place an espresso order because we usually do that in like a bigger order and then just you know have coffee for a few months so this is going to stay as like a coffee sinking fund household this is going to be household sinking fund for home items for the home not necessarily household items like toiletries and things but like items for the home like new sheets or curtains our cat is always climbing straight up the curtains and like ruining them and i just leave them for years and years and years because i'm like she's just gonna ruin them but now they're at the point where like okay i think we might need to think about getting some at some point but that would be what that would come out of like a sinking fund that's what this would be for so that's my idea for that. These I'm going to treat as like short-term slash long-term savings. I don't know. Should I pull these out and put them in the other binder? Oh, I think that's what I should do. I think I should call these long-term. Wait, how long-term is long-term? I think long-term to me is like a year. Oh, I don't know. I think I'm going to leave them here for now. Um... Travel, this needs to be like closer to the front. Okay, these need to be closer to the front because these are more important, I think. So let's put these, medical and pets can go in the back actually, but travel just needs to be in the front. So let's put pets at the back because I don't know, I love my pets, but like I love my son more. <laughs> All right, so let's put the travel closer. I think travel should go in front of household because we use it more. All right, coffee is the most important thing. <laughs> so it stays in the front. Coffee is the most important thing in my life. Just kidding. That's my wife and my son. All right, so travel, household, and then we've got the names. But before that, I think we need to put birthday. So this is going to be birthdays for us me my wife and my son as well as other friends and family and then just like holidays like mother's day father's day things like that i think that's what i'm gonna use this envelope for so anyways there's 20 40 60 80 dollars in there right now that's good but that's definitely not enough for august um finn's gonna be turning two this year car maintenance we got money there for car maintenance that's good so let's go back into here and pull the money for car maintenance out because I, I like that I can just stuff this quick and easy into my wallet, but I don't want to keep it in my wallet because then I risk spending it not on the car maintenance. So when I actually go to get that oil change, I'll put it back in my wallet. But for now, it needs to be aside. So $20, dollars $60 of car maintenance. And when I add that together with what's already in the bank, I've got 160, 50, 160. That's good. That's enough for me definitely to get my oil change. Um, but also what just came up is my car registration. And now I'm going to need to 
collect money for that as well. So things like that for the car, like registration, title, da, 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 all that type of stuff, I'm bulking into car maintenance. So that's what this is. And um, it's not necessarily a long term for a car replacement. So I do want a long term for a car replacement, but we're more focused on getting a house right now. So I'm not even going to bother with an envelope for that. And then I don't know why I got these. Oh, I know. I like jotted down like some stuff here. Okay. So let me just look at this. I need a place for phones. Oh, phones and car replacement. Maybe I should stick these in the other. Maybe they're long term. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. All right. So I think this is fine for short term slash um, sinking funds. And I'll keep these in for like when we want a purchase that's like bigger than just our weekly spending. So I'll keep that in short term slash sinking funds. This one is done. This is sinking slash short term. Done. Okay, let's pull out long term again. Let's put this away because this right now has zero purpose to us. And let's open this back up. This is long term. Okay, so long term, I've got emergency fund. I've got home sweet home. I've got vacation. I've got clothing. I've got luxury and I've got Christmas. Now, I also need a spot for phones because we're going to pay off our phones with AT&T and then we're going to need new phones. Um, so I need a spot for phones and then I also need a spot for, and this doesn't have to be now or anything, but for long-term um, visa processing. <laughs> um, if you guys want another little story time. So my wife is actually from Canada. And when she, when we decided to move in together or live together, we basically got married because we wouldn't be able to live in the same country as each other. Um, I'm sure there's other ways we could have, but we wanted to be together. And so we got a, uh, a fiance visa for her to come over to the U.S. and for us to get married and then for her to have a marriage visa and live and work in the U.S. At some point in life, we want to do the opposite and go to Canada um, and have me and my son get all of our um, paperwork so that we can move and live in Canada. That process, the whole visa process, uh, the whole visa process cost a lot of money. I think we paid like four to five grand, and that was back in 2016. Um, so I can only imagine, and I have no idea what it would be like to go to Canada. But also, she still needs to get her citizenship done in this country before we just go back so this is really this would be really long-term savings um if we're talking um her finishing out her citizenship here and then us going to canada and me being a resident there um, my son would have citizenship uh within probably like six months i think just because he was born to um a canadian citizen but uh then yeah we basically just have to do the whole thing until i was a citizen of canada so this little envelope that has nothing on it would be extremely long-term savings for that process. So now let's see how many this has. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, eight, that's okay. Um, yeah, this zips nicely. Obviously this one gets stuffed with prop money, so that works. This one got unstuffed. We moved the car maintenance around, that's good. Guys, I think we're done here. I think I've become the binder lady and um, <laughs> this is too funny. Look at all these binders. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Look at them like this. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I moved stuff around. That's basically what I wanted to do was just kind of set stuff up. And um, I will leave you guys at that. I will see you guys in my next video. And you can see all these binders get put to good use. 
So, uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Other than that, take care, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!